we're maintaining distance. Oh yes, we're we're distance. Maintaining. that's right, that's all right, very good, yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, this is online training session number eight. I'm here with Coach Pete McLean, and uh, he's a strength and conditioning professional and one of my friends, I've trained with him for a long time. He's gonna be taking me through a workout today, so um, yeah, let's, let's rock. All right, good morning, how you guys doing? So I'm gonna be taking Sensei Nahan through a little bit of a workout. The workout that we're gonna to do today will be both a strength workout and a conditioning session. Uh, it doesn't take very long. The whole process will take about 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that 15 or 20 minutes, you'll be able then to go into your martial arts training to make sure you're working on your technique. So we're gonna get Mike warmed up first to get started. And then uh, we'll get into the uh, conditioning piece as we move forward. So we're gonna start out with a dynamic stretch. We're gonna work through a number of different ranges of motion, make sure that we're properly warmed up. We're gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna get metabolic rate suited to where we need to. And uh, as we move forward, you'll see as we add some external resistance uh, and some body weight stuff, that this is a very applicable workout to any type of home system or garage type of training. So our first exercise is gonna be knee pulls. And we're gonna do knee pulls to the chest. We're doing six of these on each side. So you're pulling your knee up, opening up your hip. Keep good posture. Right. Gonna keep your shoulders high, making sure that you're opening up your hips a little bit, opening up your hamstrings. Good. And our next exercise is a figure four stretch. So this requires a little bit of balance. You're gonna put your left knee over your right, uh, left ankle over your right knee. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down into this and you're gonna be opening up your hip. Good, so you just work it to each side. Requires a little bit of balance, but you can work this down. Good. That's a good one. And we work down in here. Good, excellent. Next exercise, we're gonna work into our lunge stretch. So we're gonna drop down. You'll notice I keep my back leg straight and I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna bounce this out a little bit, open up my hip. Hold that for about 15 seconds. And then we can come up and we can switch sides. Nice. Should be able to feel that. Yep. That's good. Great. Our next movement is going to be our hamstring stretch. So you're going to put your left foot out with your toe. Uh, dorsiflex up or pointed up and we're going to reach from here we're going to hinge at the hip and we're going to press to the floor you're going to bounce that at each side three or four times this is that scoop right yep there you go Should really feel that open up. Yeah. Then we're going to do an exercise called Statue of Liberty stretch. So our Statue of Liberty is here. We're going to grab our foot and we're going to open and we're going to get fully extended. So we're going to open up the hip and we're going to open up the shoulder opposite to opposite. So if I'm grabbing my right foot, I'm going to press out with my left arm. Make sure you work both sides. Excellent. Great job. That opens up, and that'll open up all the tissue structures to your hips, making sure that um, you're getting good uh, hip flexion and hip extension. So now we're going to go wide like this. We're going to do what we call a lateral Spider Man. So we're going to get wide. Make sure that your stance is much wider than your frame. And then from here, I'm going to drop my right hip onto my right ankle. I'm going to drop down and open my hip here. Now from this position, I'm basically going to slide back across and work the other side. I want to heel down. You want to heel. Uh, you want your foot up and heel down. Nice. Good. Make sure you work both sides. You can slide across three or four times. Great. Good. 
Good. Then we're going to go into our squat pattern. So again, we're going to bring our feet about shoulder width apart. Our eyes are up. You can press your hands either over your head or out front. And from here, we're going to drop into a full depth squat. Try to keep your feet screwed tightly into the floor. You do not want to let your foot roll out or roll in as you begin to uh, load up the squat at the bottom. You can turn your feet out to about a 15 degree angle. It'll, it'll uh, act, activate a little different part of your hip. Good. We do six of these. Good. Bring one more. Yep. Nice. Great job. Then we're going to do our straight leg kick. So the first we're going to do is a straight leg kick. We're just going to come here and just straight leg kick. We do six or seven on both sides. I'm sure you're all familiar with this exercise. Yeah, we've been doing this. We've been doing this a lot in the workouts. All right, good shot. Good. And then from there, we're going to work our inside out kick, so our crescent kick. So we're here, we're going to work our crescent kick over top. And we work six of those on each side. This exercise presents a lot of movement issues with number uh, with many of my clients, especially some of my field and ball sport athletes. Uh, that's why we've been employing this, because I think it's critical uh, for athletes to be able to move through multiple planes. So we're both moving in the sagittal plane, and we're also working in the transverse plane on that exercise. So that becomes a really good exercise. All right, as we begin now, we're gonna to look to get heart rate up a little bit. So we're gonna start, we're gonna go standing high knee drill. So we're standing high knee. So you're gonna, in place, we're gonna do standing high knee. We're gonna go for 15 seconds. So again, try, trying to stay as relaxed as possible. And I wanna make sure we work through the arms. As we work our arms, we're driving elbows back. Okay, and the knees are coming up Just run it, to right. parallel. Ready? Okay. And begin. Good, and relax. Good, next exercise. We're gonna be doing our skipping pattern. Now this is a little bit different because typically in skips we're moving through the space, but in this exercise now we're gonna be doing our skips in place. We're going to be doing a pattern called an A skip. Uh, an A skip is a small skip off the landing foot and a high knee rise on the other side. So our A skip is. Heel doesn't touch the floor. Heel right? does not touch the floor. Heel does not touch the floor. We're making sure that we're uh, loading that ankle and making sure we're getting good um, elastic force on the, on the ankle complex. You can see. Good. Now we're going to work a little slide pattern. So in, you're going to need a little bit of space to do this. But if I'm here, I'm going to work my slide pattern. My feet are parallel. And from here, I'm going to slide out. And I'm going to slide back. I'm going to slide out. And I'm going to slide back. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Begin. Good. You're halfway. Three, two, one, and stop. Great job. Now we're going to do our lunges. So we're going to work in lunging pattern. So we're here. Our hands are going to go up behind our head. We're stepping out into our lunge. We're down. You'll notice I'm trying to keep my shins parallel or, excuse me, perpendicular to the floor. So straight up and down, or up, and up, and across. Here we go, back and forth for 30 seconds, begin. Good, and then backwards like, backwards, backwards and jump. Yeah. Good, and then we go forward again.
and then backwards. Nice job. Good. And then we finish up with 25 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, good. And relax. Good. Nice job. So that's basically our dynamic warm up, a little bit of a metabolic uh, kickstart. Get our heart rate up a little bit, get our uh, body temperature up a little bit, prepare us for what we're going to be doing in the bulk of our training. All right. So the uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to work a superset. We're going to start with a push-up, sit-up, superset. We're going to do we're going to do 15 push-ups. We're going to roll over. We're going to do 20 sit-ups. We're going to change the exercises as we go through. So each time we run through this, we're going to do a little different variation on each exercise. Nice. So we're going to start regular push-ups. This is just a standard push-up. We're doing 15 repetitions. Here we go. Ready, ready, and begin. And 15. Well done. Next exercise we're going to do what we call a face. Nice. Next exercise we're going to do is we're going to be doing a sit-up press-up. And a sit-up press-up, pretty simple. We're using a, you can use a medicine ball. You do not have to use a medicine ball if you don't have one. You can use anything that provides a little bit of weight. And if not, uh, just do it with body weight. We're going to do a sit-up. So our feet are up. We're going to sit up and press up. Sit up and press up. Sweet. 15 reps. <clears throat> Sit up, press up. And 15, nice job. Then we roll back over, we're going to do our sit-ups. So our next exercise in our sit is what we call an asymmetrical uh, push-up. So our asymmetrical push-up, we're going to have our right hand forward and our left hand back. We're going to do seven, and then we're at, at, when we hit our eighth rep, we're going to switch our hands. Cool. Here we go. So asymmetrical push-up, ready? The closest one is elbow Doesn't matter. Yeah, elbow yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't All really right. matter. You'll, you'll, you'll feel it. Now, bring your left hand back a little bit, Mike. Yep. A little more. Yep. There we go. Asymmetrical push up. Switch. Yep, right. switch hands. Good, perfect. Next exercise we're going to do is what we call lying opposites. So a line opposite from here. We're going to bring our hands overhead. I'm going to bring my right hand to my left foot. So I'm going to come up. And I'm going to come up and touch. I'm going to do eight on the, with my right arm. And then we can then switch up to the other side. Nice. Ready? And arms. begin. Here. Yep, legs are down, Mike. Nice. Yep. Hands overhead. Up like that. Hands all the way over there. Yep. Right. And then you leave, but you only come up with one hand. Okay. Other hands down. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Eight, and switch them up. Oh, I feel these. Yeah, they're great. Excellent, excellent. Great exercise. Then we're going to roll over. We're going to do frog push ups. So these froggy push ups are kind of fun. So here we go. So we're going to start here, guys. In our push up position, we're going to work down into our push up back up and then keeping my knees back I'm going to drive my heels out all the way over my heels I'm going to come back down up back down up back 15 nice so you do your regular push up bike it's a regular push up regular yep Boom. then up then kicking your hips back yep 
like Try that. to keep that, keep your knees about three to four inches off the floor. So you're pressing out, you're pressing your hips all the way back over your heels. Yep, that's it, perfect. Beautiful. Good. Good. Five more. Five more. Nice job. Nice job. Beautiful. All right, next sit up variation. Nice. Next sit up variation. Here we go. So our next sit up variation, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a modified crunch. I'm gonna pull my left knee back. I'm gonna lift my right foot off the floor about three to four inches. I'm gonna hold it there, and then from here, I'm gonna do my crunches. I'm gonna do 15 this way, then I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna do 15 this way. All right. Let's see. So, hands behind the head. Right. Right knee back, left leg up, just slightly off the floor. Good. And do your crunches. 15. Good. Switch them up, Mike. Ooh, those are hard. Woo! Wow. Here we go, Sensei. Pull them out. And 15, nice job. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, here we go. Dive bomber push-ups. Everyone's favorite is the dive bomber push-up. So we're starting out here, guys. Your hips are high, hips are high. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna let my head drop towards the floor. I'm gonna scoop myself out. I'm gonna finish back up. Down to the floor, scoop myself out. Hips back up. Let's do 15. That's our dive bottom push up. All right. Here we go. Hips up, right? Hips up, dive through, finish up top. Beautiful. The nice thing about this exercise is it focuses on a little different part of the shoulder complex, and we're getting some different dynamic patterns within the exercise itself. And there's 15. Great job. Woo! All right. Here we go. Next, next ab movement. So we're coming here, guys. We're going to come up. You're going to bring your feet. Hold them up at about a 45 degree angle. Holding here. I'm going to now from this position. I'm going to come up and reach for the ceiling. Nice. I'm reaching straight to the ceiling. I'm not reaching to my toes. <coughs> I'm reaching straight up. All right. Here we go. So 45. 45 degree. Hands are here. Yep. Reach right. to the ceiling. Hands are up. You want to reach right here. Right up. Good. 15. push-ups, our diamond push-ups. So, hands are coming in, forming a diamond. We're on the floor here. Keep your elbows tight into your torso. Come down and up. Nice. And there's our diamond push-ups. Here we go, 15 reps. All right. Good. 
Nice. Keep those elbows nice and tight. Oh, keep them tight. You want to keep them tight into the body. Much harder that way. Yeah. Nice job. And here's our last exercise of, this, of our push push up series. Good. We're going to come here. From this position, I'm now going to rock back. So I'm bouncing on the top of my hips, and from here I'm in to out for 15. Nice. We call these the V crunch. Alright. Hands get to touch the floor. Hands are on the floor. Feet <coughs> back. Alright. Here? Yep. And pull them in. Beautiful. Boom. And done. So that's your push up, sit up series. Solid. You want, to, you want to stop that and then we'll. Yes. Okay. Thanks, coach. Well done. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Woo, very simple. So that's a very simple circuit that anybody can perform in their garage, in their living room, in their playroom, on the lawn, whatever. And I think that uh, you'll find that once we run through that whole series, you'll feel that uh, you've got a pretty good day two, day three workout. Awesome. Thanks, coach.